Senator Aaron Oban of District 35 is here with us this morning. Thanks for being here, Good morning. Aaron. Thanks for having me. And uh, first of all, congratulations on your re-election win last week. Thank you. Uh, so how did you feel about uh, election night? Were you pretty confident heading in? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think anybody should run confident. Sure. Um, you know, I think m m myself, much like everybody else, was just really ready for this election cycle to be over. <laughs> sure, right. Move on to uh, yep. the business at hand. Move on then, to the work. Right? Yep. Now, there are some things happening at the Capitol. Of course, the session is about a month and a half, two months away yet, mm -hmm. but some things happening at the Capitol already this week. Right. Tell so, us about that. So today and tomorrow, um, we will conclude basically the interim work from this last legislative uh, year. Okay. And so what's going to happen is all of the interim committees that were established throughout this last interim, since the last legislative session mm -hmm. met, all of those chairs, um, the chairman will report out what those committees have been working on in the interim. And so one of those committees is the Education Policy Committee, of which I chair. Mm -hmm. And so what we will do is we'll share with the rest of the legislative body what we've been working on. And if we have any bills moving forward with a recommendation from the committee to debate those bills next session. Okay, very good. So uh, that's uh, today and tomorrow, right? Some pretty Correct. busy days. Yeah, some yeah. busy days where everybody who has served in the last uh, two sessions will mm -hmm. come in and uh, conclude either their term or start their new term. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's look ahead sort of to the new term, to the uh, upcoming session sure. of the legislature. Uh, what do you think the priorities, the big topics we'll be hearing about a lot for those months? What so are you, these what are, are you the, expecting? the same issues that I talked about while I was campaigning. I think, uh, Anybody who's been paying attention is going to know that much of these issues are going to come down to budget issues. Mm -hmm. um, and so my priorities are making sure that our schools are funded, uh, K-12 schools, when the state took on a good, good proportion of that funding, we need to uphold that commitment to make sure that those uh, increases don't come down on, on people's property taxes. That's mm -hmm. where that increase will come if the state is not contributing its commitment. Um, the second would be in human services. Uh, so we made some good progress, I think, in behavioral health, but we're nowhere near solving, you know, what's really become a crisis in mental health and uh, addiction services. And so we need to continue that. Medicaid expansion is going to be a big, big debate. Mm -hmm. um, and infrastructure to me is the last one. And, and for me, somebody in District 35, that includes both uh, people, the people who do the work, yep. and uh, you know, roads, bridges, things like that. Sure. Senator Oban, you are, of course, a Democrat. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, you are facing a supermajority of Republicans. Yeah. Again, uh, this is uh, sort of a theme that you've <laughs> had to uh, <laughs> Nothing different. work with, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what is it like for you? How do you, uh, how do you work with Republicans in the leadership how, and uh, get things done that are on your priority list? I, I don't see people as Republicans and Democrats. So I just approach them, try to get to know them, build relationships find out what's important to them, mm -hmm. and then try to find common ground. Um, I, I think that's the best approach you can have in government. Uh, I think the federal government is showing us that that's not necessarily how it's been working, but, but my goal is to make sure that we function as a legislature as, as effectively as we can for the people that we serve. Okay, you looking forward to January, getting course, back to work? Yes. All right, <laughs> Senator Aaron Oban of District 35, thanks for being here with us yes, this morning. Absolutely. We really appreciate it.